Hey guys, this is just a quick one. I recently repaired a Tandy 200 computer where the batteries had leaked and ate away the traces for several keyboard keys. I initially didn't intend to coat the traces again since it was mostly solder anyway. However, YouTube comments are a great thing, and a commenter made me reconsider. The debate was on, use nail polish or use the proper UV curable mask. I did do research on this, and it appears that most people believe that nail polish will suffice. Although not drastic, there are some good points to be made for a proper solder mask over polish. I admit, I ordered this too long ago to remember what they were, but I figured if I'm going to go through the trouble to mask the traces, why not use the intended stuff? Ordered my solder mask and months later it arrived. Reinspecting the traces, they don't seem to have degraded at all over the short time since the repair was done. I applied the mask by gently dabbing a small screwdriver. Curing the area, I used a UV flashlight. This is not ideal, FYI, if you're planning to do something similar. I had to affix the flashlight at short range, and it took about two hours total to cure. If I start using this stuff regularly and in larger areas, I might need to consider a stronger UV light. But cure time aside, it did what it claimed. It turned rock hard and as a bonus matched the hue of the green on the PCB quite well. Would I use the solder mask again? Definitely. In fact, I'm currently using it on an analog board for a Macintosh Plus that suffered extensive battery damage. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed with the bell icon turned on so you don't miss the next video. Until next time.